Let's see. Uh, we have like writers' meetings three days a week, and that's that's usually attended by Kent, myself, Jack, and Penn. And day to day, there's so much stuff going on. It it all overlaps so much that we'll either have a pitch, we'll have a post, and I'm trying to think. We'll um, be starting an episode. We'll be ending an episode. Um, so usually it's like we have a voice record once voice, a week. Yeah, voice Tuesday. recording once a week. It kind of varies. It's like every day is something else, but it's usually a bunch of pitches. Uh, reviewing a bunch of boards and doing a lot of post work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're starting the next season right now, but we're still doing post on episodes from the middle of last season. So it's overlapped so much now that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Monday morning we'll start with a handout to the board artists where you give them the outline for their story. And then, yeah, you could have a pitch from another team. So you're talking about one story, and then a couple hours later, you're immersed in another story, and then you could be having like a breakdown for, you know, to yeah, get, get ready to ship a ship. story that's like was written two months ago that's like heading overseas, and it's very schizophrenic sometimes. So you're like, wait, what? What story is this? Uh, <laughs> oh no, oh, that's when we break down an episode. Oh, two. sorry, yeah, it'll be a breakdown. Oh, that sounds terrible. Yeah, yeah, we, that's on Wednesdays at four. We all roll around in puddles. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, animation term. Yeah, what's uh, it mean? Do you guys oh. have any uh, inspiration from like surrealist animators, like like, like Jan Schweigmeyer or anything like that? Have you heard of what? What are some of the um, you know inspirations for you know the kind of crazy surrealism? Is there any other you know particularly animated you know things that are inspiration? I mean, I like Schweigmeyer, but I haven't. We don't usually take an episode and say, let's do it exactly in that style. Definitely. I mean, it might not be animated necessarily, but like Mobius, that, like the scale of Mobius and stuff, uh, and the sort of weird transformations that shows up a lot. Um, a lot of anime sort of works its way in. Not, not a ton, but like... A little less uh, mainstream stuff, like Masaki Uwasa's work. That that's a big influence on us. Um, Dungeon, the Dungeon comics by uh, Louis Trondheim and Jones Far. Anything about um, it? Well, I just I just worked on an LSP episode, so I was watching a lot of rom coms. So like Runaway Bride, um, <laughs> One in yeah. Rome. Um, yeah, that happens too. Like somebody will see a terrible movie over the weekend, and we will base an episode off of that. That happened with Beauty and the Briefcase. Oh yeah, yeah.